We I are heard. doing strongies. Strongies. A whole load of strongies. strongies. Strong Belgian beers. beers. Yeah. I, is every Belgian beer strong? Because honestly, I look at any of the percentage and I'm like, whoa. Ooh. I've definitely had Belgian beers, but I can't tell you any of the names because I normally forget. Not too long afterwards. It is the best beer in the world. The Belgians uh, are strong. Spent a couple of weeks in Belgium trying all kinds of beers. Uh, there are thousands of them and I only got to try a few. I was in Belgium a few months ago and had their beers. Yeah. Fantastic time. And they have their thing where um, they each beer, every pub you go to, they all know their beers and you get them in a specific glass it's perfectly ergonomic for each beer. Oh, wow. And if you were to put it in just a normal glass or not have a glass at all with it, it'd be very disrespectful. So we'll see what we do here. Yes. Pressure's on. Cool. <laughs> oh. Wow, wow. You, you really... The head. You really fucked that up, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Orville. I, I love an Orville. You had an Orville. Look yeah. at this season pro oh, right had here. A few. I tell you, they don't put it in glasses like this. This is Orval. Looks like a lava lamp. It's a Trappist ale. Honestly, what I'm really tempted to do, especially when you gave it to us as well, was to scoop oh, up yeah, the yeah, yeah, and go, yeah. Eh. <laughs> throw it at each other. <laughs> yeah. Maybe a few points in. Oh, Jesus. That's a fucking beer. Well, you take that to bed already. That is stunning, isn't it? It's nice. There's a kick to that. Mm. It's like getting on a go-kart in the nip. That is... <laughs> I'm sorry, it's like getting on a go-kart in the nip. Yeah, because you know you shouldn't do it, but it's fucking gas. <laughs> okay. It's standard, isn't it? But that's that has such a, like... There's so much flavour just from the first sip there. Hang on. <laughs> Let's have some more. <laughs> I do find there's a weird thing where if I was to drink a few of these over here, I'd be hammered. Oh, but yeah. when you're over there, you, your body sort of acclimatises. You can drink a load of Belgian beers and not feel it as bad. It's definitely yeah, stronger. Absolutely. It's But not even just stronger in like alcohol c content. It's like flavor. Yes. It's really intense. Yeah, it's quite heavy. I do like it though. Um, you'll get some immaculate burps out of this. It doesn't exactly taste strong, but it does feel like I've taken the equivalent of two sips in one, if that makes sense. Am I already drunk? What's going on here? <laughs> oh, no, I can taste more flavor. Yeah. It, there's just more flavour, there's more love. It's like drinking a lovely alcoholic gravy. <laughs> yes. Back, I'm giving 10 out of 10s. I'm giving 10 out of 10s. Oh, Bruges. Bruges up. Oh, I had a Bruges up. I was in Bruges. Uh, like the movie, hey, hey, hey. You eight. were in the movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, what is this? 7.5%. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's Brugs double zot. Look at that. Oh, I like the little guy. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, look at this little jokester. He's doing a little, oh my God. I quite like this. I really like this. I already know this is amazing. I can tell you without tasting it, this is a 10 out of 10. I can tell you that. I, I just have. I, this is me after uh, five of these. <laughs> just gotta get you a little hat like that. Yeah. <laughs> Traditional top fermented beer with bottle re-fermentation. Brewed by De Helvenman Family Brewery, which has been located in the historical heart of Bruges. Since 1856, for its beer transportation, the brewery built a 3.2 kilometer underground beer pipeline as a world first. Oh my God. That's very light, I like that. Light? Light. It's fucking more intense than anything I've ever tasted. It's so, it's so smooth. It's, it's stronger than the first one, but it doesn't taste anywhere near as powerful and it's lovely. Yeah, it's it, really like, if you we are so excited, we're like, like, oh my this god! This is going to kill a person if they're not careful. Smooth. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Pure soft. Yeah. It's a soft strongy. Strongy, it's a soft strongy. <laughs> no, that's very light. What? This, that's, I'm not getting any kind of strength out of that, no. Are you serious? Are you what? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not even messing. Oh, you've grown long hair and you've turned into Tarzan. You know, what the <laughs> hell is this? I would have this in the pub with a few peanuts. I would. Ooh, oh, I you're would. mad. Yeah. I oh, Jesus, look at her. <laughs> look, there's a smiley face in my beard. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. Wow, oh. oh, would you look at the little dot? He's so happy. <laughs> Is that coming up on the screen? Right, you're a classy Belgian. <laughs> classy Belgian. And I am a degenerate Jamie J. Carr. Yes. Delicious. 
Fucking lovely, that. I'll <laughs> well, be locked now after that, dude. You know, like, me, me, no, no, them. Hey, there will you be on your back. Here we go. Bit of frothy piss, just how I like it. Frothy piss? <laughs> Fuck's sake, you're on your Jesus. Ooh. No. It's not a do one. <gasps> Ooh. Another Trappist ale. Oh, no, I don't quite know what a Trappist ale is. Do you want to enlighten us, Sean? Monks yeah. around the world have been brewing heady ales with deep, rich flavours for hundreds of years. These common concoctions named Trappist beer are in fact part of a sacred spiritual tradition, a prayer to God. Oh, that's funny. I actually read about this. Apparently, they're they're, monk, monk, monk brew beer. There are some, monks. There, there are, monks were getting locked. I'm kind of put off only because you <laughs> said frothy piss. <laughs> Um, so I'm trying to not think about it like that. <laughs> Sorry. And hopefully it'll Again, taste. I'm a very observational person. I'm just like, I say what I see. This is a, this is a, a triple, a Trappist triple. Uh, the name triple was generally used for the strongest beer in a monastery's repertoire. The story goes that barrels were traditionally marked with X's to signify strength, so three X's would be for that Abbey's triple. Generally, the lineup of Trappist beers would include a few styles, a single, a double, and a triple. Hmm. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> yeah that, was, that was back in the day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's uh, modernised now. If you see like three X's on a barrel, that just means you might see a cock. <laughs> but you know, different times. You never know what you're going to get. You never know what you're going to get. You Belgians. You know what you're doing. They do? What the fuck? It's getting stronger and it's getting easier. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Oof. Oh. That is so strong. Oh, that's real light. <laughs> it's smooth again. It's not really bubbly, so it's not like you're gonna be real gassy yeah, afterwards. I feel comfortable. Blonde beers tend to have a bit. They tend to be a bit more sour or bitter. That is tasty. That is honestly like a carvery dinner. Like it is just stunning. You just hoof it into you. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Why is all your metaphors? Savory dinners, dinners covered in gravy. <laughs> you used to wonder, like, ah, oh, Jesus, how would you become a monk, you know? Get up at six and praying, and then get up at one and pray. They're fucking drinking monk juice. <laughs> <laughs> this food, this, and a pizza. With a burger. Oh my God. Chips. Yeah. Or peanuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give it all to us. That's the problem. They're, they're very easy to drink, and then you're like, suddenly you're in dungarees and like on the back of a pickup truck. Don't know where you're going, and you're like, well, I guess this is Belgium. This is my life, I suppose. This is what happens, where's the chips? Yeah. Fuck yeah, Belgium. Uh, 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 uh. That sounds more like you fucking shredded a lung. <laughs> it's the second one again. Uh. There we go. Eleven percent is what I'm reading on that. Hold on, what percent? What can eleven percent? This is a bottle of wine. We're drinking a bottle of wine. For five generations, both the eldest son of the <gasps> brewer's family and their beers were called Henry or Henrik. Following the family's tradition, this unique, strong, quadruple beer is still being brewed uh, according to the original recipe by the De Havma. Oh, it's the same people from earlier. From Sut. Oh yeah. Same guys. Oh my god. Cheers. Cheers, Slanja Afosante. That's fucking lovely. The first the first sip was very sweet, and then afterwards it was it's very long. Come on. That wasn't even Come we didn't even on. plan that. We that was, it's so Three insane. Three months of choreography to pull that off. No. Yeah. No. no. It tastes like a warm hug from your divorced auntie who moved back to Ireland from Canada. <laughs> that is so specific. Do you have a divorced auntie who moved back to Ireland from Canada? Deirdre, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you found love again, Deirdre. <laughs> I think we might have gone too far on the percentage when it comes to beer. It's still good. I just kind of want to go back. <laughs> To the last two. Right. Oh my god. Yeah, that's. Might be the nicest one. Yeah. The best so far? Might be the nicest. Honestly, yeah. yeah. It's just been open. They've all been tens. It's a bit like this. It's kind of like, you know, you know the way wine's not got to burn, but it's got like, you can know, you, you know, you know it's alcoholic. No. Yeah. It's tasty. It's same kind of thing. It's tasty, isn't it? It's very tasty. Yeah. Do you know what? It tastes like opening, opening the blinds on Christmas morning and you see it's snow, it's snowed out. 
You're, you're, you've got some real magical metaphors in that brain ears. Could you go through a few bottles of these without realizing it's a point by point? Now, maybe if this was the first drink we had, we might be like, oh my god, it tastes like nothing. Yeah. But uh, now that we've already had a few, we're already kind of like... Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It's brewed with a subtle blend of speciality malts. Oh yeah, speciality yeah, malts. Yeah. 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 A clean dryness. It's a clean warm, dryness with a warm, <laughs> warm full-body mouthfeel. Full-body mouth, yeah. yeah feel, I get you feel that, the warmth yeah. in the mouth. You do, yeah. yeah. You're spot on. Brewed in the last active brewery. In, the last active brewery, right? In, in, historical in the historical city of, city of <laughs> Belgium. Bruges. 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 So guys, now you've tried four types of strong Belgian beers. What do you think overall? I didn't have a huge amount of them, but <laughs> they were so strong that I feel very lightly toasted. <laughs> like I'm, I'm just a, I'm just a little buzzed. <laughs> I really like them. Also, the percentages. It's too, it's too easy. I feel like I might die because the percentages are high. Yeah. It tastes good, and it's just a win-win overall. I just want to make it very clear, right? Yes. To the people of Belgium, mm -hmm. right? And I'm very impressed. And they've just produced four 10 out of 10s. Yeah. And I'll be honest, I've had a lot of beers there. And I haven't had one that's not a 10 out of 10. I mean, who else can you trust but this man here? Thank you very much. The Wikipedia page for Belgium anyway. Okay. Well, thank you for watching today's video where we try all kinds of lovely Belgian beers. What did you think of that, Jamie? I think the Belgian beers taste like the satisfaction of subscribing to this channel, oh. liking the video, commenting, and then buying a little t-shirt just to help us out. Yeah, absolutely. Check the merch store. Get that t-shirt on Do too. Do it! Go for it! Why <laughs> not?